the corporeal nature of the deity, spirit as energy and matter. Yahweh declares to the ends of the earth, look unto me, for I am El, and none else. Isaiah 46, verse 22. To Israel he affirms, Ye are my witnesses and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I, Yahweh, am he. Before me, El, or power, has not been formed, nor after me shall be. Isaiah 40, 10. This testimony equates El with the Logos and Theos spoken of in John's Gospel, which states, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. John 1, 3. The deity is the source of all wisdom and power, as written, for from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Romans eleven thirty six. From these scriptures, we understand that the deity possesses both body and parts. Paul declares that the resurrected Christ Jesus is the apavgasma, apaugasma, of the glory, and charaktir, of the peculiar nature of the hypostaseos, hypostaseos, or substance of the theos. Hebrews 1.3. This identifies the glorified Jesus as partaking of the same corporeal, incorruptible substance as the deity. The substance of the deity is living, for the Father hath life in himself. John 5.26. This life is inherent, self-sustaining, and inseparable from his substance, which is incorruptible and eternal. Spirit as energy and matter. In modern scientific terms, the deity's substance can be understood as energy and matter unified, consistent with the principle expressed in Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared. If energy and matter are interchangeable, then the incorruptible and living substance of the deity is the ultimate manifestation of this principle. The spirit, the creative and transformative power described in scripture, is not an abstract force, but a corporeal, tangible energy. This energy is the essence of the deity's body, concentrated and materialized as light, heat, and life. The deity's incorruptible substance is the focal center of all creation's power. As the embodiment of energy, this substance emits light and heat, which are not merely metaphors, but actual corporeal phenomena integral to the deity's nature. The heat represents the active, life-sustaining power of the deity, while the light symbolizes his omnipresent glory and wisdom. These attributes are essential to life and existence, manifesting as a radiant corporeal body too intense for human vision. The deity's radiant spirit forms the atomic structure of all things, from celestial bodies to microscopic organisms. His incorruptible energy is the source of all existence, sustaining the cosmos with his life-giving power. This unity of spirit, light, heat, and incorruptibility reveals the profound depth of the deity's nature a corporeal and energetic being, the self-existing source of all life and power. Thus, creation is not ex nihilo, from nothing, but ex deo, from God. All things originate from the deity's incorruptible substance, a radiant body of light and heat, whose energy manifests as the tangible reality of the universe. This scientific and scriptural understanding affirms the corporeal, energetic nature of the deity, whose spirit is both the creator and sustainer of all things. Ezekiel's Vision and the Corporeal Deity The vision of Ezekiel provides a profound glimpse into this radiant substance. He describes, Above the firmament that was over the heads of the four living ones was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. I saw as the color of electrum, as the appearance of fire round about within it. Ezekiel 1, 26-27 this vision reveals the corporeal nature of the deity as a body of radiant energy, with fire and light emanating from his form. Similarly, Daniel describes the Ancient of Days as sitting upon a throne like fiery flames, with a stream of fire issuing forth, Daniel 7 verse 9 to 10. In Revelation, John depicts lightnings, thunderings, and voices proceeding from the throne, emphasizing the energetic nature of the deity's presence. Revelation 4 5. Creation ex Dio the scientific perspective, scripture teaches that all things proceed from the deity, not from nothing. There is one deity, the Father, ex au, out of whom are all things, 1 Corinthians 8 verse 6. This aligns with a scientific understanding of creation as a transformation of energy into matter. The deity's emanating spirit, described as all-pervading energy, is the substratum of every existing thing, from stars to the smallest particles. 
Modern physics recognizes that matter is energy in a condensed form. Thus, the deity's radiant spirit, his corporeal energy, constitutes the building blocks of the universe. As scripture states, by his spirit he garnished the heavens, Job 26, 13. This spirit is not an abstract essence, but a tangible force, the fundamental energy that forms atoms, molecules, and all physical substances. Light and heat as manifestations of the deity. Light and heat are intrinsic to the deity's substance. As radiant energy, they are both the source and sustainer of life. The deity is described as dwelling in unappro un unapproachable light, 1 Timothy 6.16, 6, and as a consuming fire, Hebrews 12.29. These manifestations of light and heat reflect the corporeal reality of the deity's body, an eternal, incorruptible energy that radiates throughout creation. Heat, in particular, symbolizes the dynamic, life-giving energy of the deity. In scientific terms, heat is a transfer of energy essential for sustaining life. Similarly, the heat of the deity's presence is the active force that upholds all creation. This energy is not merely spiritual, but physical, permeating the universe as the essence of all matter and energy. The deity as the source of all such, then, is the deity, spirit, corporeal and emanating, corporeal in his own person, emanating thence into all the Elohim of his universe, in whom the emanating matter, by the fiat of the divine will, became fixed, organic, corporeal, and consubstantial with the deity himself. Thus, he is Eloah in chief. And without me, he saith, of Elohim there is none else, Isaiah 45. And without me there are no Elohim, Isaiah 44, 6. Therefore, we find the phrase in who Elohim, he the Elohim, he the only deity by his spirit, a multitude of mighty ones. Isaiah 45, 18. This version corrects grammar and maintains the context.